This is the ISDT X16. It's an absolute powerhouse of a charger with enough watts to blow a 110 volt breaker if you let it. It's sporting dual XT90 connectors and an 18 pin Molex Microfit connector for balancing, as well as USB A for charging, USB C for updating, and an AC wall socket. It's a pretty hefty unit overall, weighing in a little over 6 pounds. Because of that, it's got two carrying handles on the sides for moving it. They make transportation much easier with one hand. And here are the specs listed on the back. In typical ISDT fashion, the menu system is very easy to navigate. There are three buttons for each side. Pressing the middle button brings you to a preset menu. There are eight presets you can choose from and customize. The charger can charge anywhere from 3 cell to 16 cell batteries at a maximum of 20 amps, as well as discharge at up to 50 watts per channel. This can also be doubled by connecting the outputs in parallel. Oh yeah, forgot to mention the balance plugs. They're 18 pin Molex Microfit connectors, and this means you can't charge hobby batteries out of the box. I talked to ISDT about this, and they said they're working on a board for it, and it'll be in the box with newer batches as an upgrade kit. But since I'm impatient, I went ahead and designed my own board. I have a patch of 10 arriving soon. You'll be able to buy them at isaacs.site whenever they're released. The mobile app is also non-functional at the moment. So why did I buy this if I can't even charge my quad batteries out of the box? Right now, just e-bikes. In the future, I'm planning a solar charging setup, an Ardu Pilot Robo Mower, and a few other things. So, should you buy it? Maybe. There are going to be two types of people watching this. The first, and probably most common, is going to laugh at how expensive this product is and wonder why you'd even need it over something like a Toolkit RC M6 d And at a price of $630 plus tax, I can understand why. The second is going to be excited at how much of a bargain this is for what it's capable of. If you're into high voltage projects like e-bikes, electric go-karts, robomowers, large UAVs, large scale planes, or anything else that needs above 8 cell batteries, just buy it. There's not much else that fills this market gap that I've been able to find besides the Ultra Power UP2400. The UP2400 has a higher current rating at 25 amps, but can't charge less than a 6S battery and can't charge higher than a 14S. I'm glad I bought one, but for 99% of people, just buy a Toolkit RC and 60.